Hey guys, welcome to another Critique the Community. Today I'm here with David Strauss. You're actually the one that uh, picks out all of these images behind Usually the scenes. Usually I'm to blame. Yeah, so <laughs> I can blame you to your face now when there are any horrible mistakes. If you'd like to sign up for the next Critique that's starting right now, and we're going to be doing Senior Portraits. Good. This was your idea. I'm a little nervous that we're not gonna get too many submissions because I don't know how many senior portrait photographers there are. It's a little niche. You know, that, but that could be interesting. And we're still giving away two tutorials for yeah. every one of these critiques. So if you're a senior uh, portrait photographer, you have a very good chance of winning this one. Um, all right, so we're gonna first start out here with the highest rated image. This person is going to get a, a free tutorial. You can check out all of our tutorials at fstoppers.com slash store. So this was, uh, the topic was motion. This first image obviously has a lot of motion. How are we rating this image? Are we rating it for sense of motion or? I am not. I, you can. You I mean, this looks like a product car photo to me. So, like, am I rating it as a product car photo? That's the way I am going to rate everything. I think there was a little bit of controversy with this critique yeah. of like, oh, it's a good image, but this doesn't deserve to be in here. And then the person would be like, but the clouds are moving, you know? Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I I will mention motion because that was the theme, but I am going to be rating each of these images individually outside of the context of motion. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. So really? I was gonna really? do, I was about, I was thinking you were gonna go four, so I did, I was thinking three and a half for this one. Okay. Um, and the reason that I, the reason this isn't instantly a four to me is because to me, the sense of motion falls off so quickly right in the shadow. And I don't know why, but that it seems to bug me. Um, there's like a blur effect that just like is so left image heavy that, I don't know, something is grabbing me about that. So I feel like the crop on this image is a little strange. And there's a lot of dead space in the bottom right. And so right now I'm zooming in, and I just feel like this is a much better crop for this image. Yeah, um, I like that. So that's my biggest critique for the shot. Maybe some other things that I'd mention are just like the road itself isn't the most interesting. Maybe I'd kind of like to see it going around a curve or something. But the car looks great, and uh, the motion blur... I don't, it's interesting. I, I know that a lot of people take these photographs with a still car and then they just add the yep. motion blur afterwards. That's so. what it feels like to me. Yeah. And I feel like it was added in post. I felt, I feel like I would definitely bump it to the fore if it had a more natural motion blur feel to me. I do love the colored gradation though, the yellow to blue kind of. Yeah, that's nice. Hot to cool. Um, so yeah, I, I could probably be convinced to a four. I was leaning a little more toward like 3.5 right in the middle. Okay. But yeah, the well, community gave it. The community gave it 3.71, which is kind of right around what we gave it. Um, now, choose a number two through 20, which will be the random winner. Let's just go all the way to the end, 20. 20, okay, Final when we get to number 20, that will be the winner. Here's the next shot. Interesting. All right, I'm ready. Three, two, one. I'm three. I was in between a two and a three okay. on this. And I feel like there's so much potential here. Yeah, it, the, the concept, the light blending, the, the motion blur, I like it, but I just feel like it's not super well executed. The biker himself looks a little goofy with his tongue out. Like that's, I, that's a big issue for me. I feel like the background lights are a little, like they're so bright along the bottom that my eye kind of goes there before it goes to the guy. And then when I see the guy and I see his face, I'm like, oh. Yeah. And you were just taking pictures of me kiteboarding yeah. yesterday with a super telephoto lens. And I kept thinking like, every time I'm trying to do a trick or something, I'm making a crazy face too. It's like a natural thing because yeah, you're, you're focusing on this move. So, you know, I, it happens, but yeah. it's just, I'm in between a two and a three. Community gives it 2.69. All right. Oh, I like that. Yeah, this is interesting. Kids photography, family photography. I'm Definitely. Gonna I'm gonna rate it as thus. Fits the motion. Let me guess what type of lighting's going on here. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. 
four? Okay, right. so you gave it three, I gave it four. Why did you give it three? I think it's just uh, a little... Mm, it doesn't it doesn't quite as have as refined of a I don't know post processing look hairs are going everywhere it's it's not quite as smooth and refined as I would want to give a four image it's I, a solid <laughs> three again maybe three point I completely agree with you one hundred percent and here's the thing if if this was commercial photography I give it a three all day for children's photography website that's what that's like what I had in my mind I gave yep. it a four you know it's it's, it's the reason why I'm being a little bit more lenient is because, you know, you're not paying some student model or a child model $5,000 an hour to model for you and you don't have the stylist on hand yeah. and all this stuff. Maybe that's not fair. And I should I should just be rating it for an image and like yeah. if it's perfect, it's perfect. And if it's not, it's not. But I do the same thing with wedding photography. It's like if I know it's a real wedding, I'm going to rate it a little bit easier than if they've hired models and a team of people to do it. Then I'm like, yeah, you should. It should be better. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But how, um, how do you think they did this? Was it just a longer shutter spin, and they got that kid perfectly, like, stayed stationary, or do you think this was post? I just imagine that it's somewhat fake. I mean, it can't be all fake, can it? Well, here's the thing. Like, look at her hair. Her hair is like obviously. Her hair spinning. is moving. Yeah, that's what that. Uh, so I, I, when I first saw this, I thought, oh, it's just all fake. But then I looked at her hair and thought, hmm, it's it's not it's not all fake. Maybe there's some motion going on, and they've added yeah. some motion blur to I'd it. Be, I'd be interested, Chad. Let us know. All right, the community gives it three point one stars. Eh, maybe that's what I should give it. Maybe I was too, I was too nice. Mm, all right. Three, two, one. I went a little nicer this time. Really? I went a little really? nicer. Really? All right. Two, <laughs> two point five again. <laughs> it's a product shot. There's sense of motion. I like the lighting in, like the the cool color balance. The um, I think it's okay lit. The the water droplets are not refined. Um, I think it's like base 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 level product photography like on the low end yeah yeah I, I i'm probably rating this a little more harshly because we recently filmed a tutorial with brian rogers the hero shot where he like he's an incredible product yeah, photographer and to see awesome. what's possible um this definitely in my opinion should not be in a professional product photographer's portfolio this feels like somebody doing a test shoot this feels like you know, all the product photos that I took yeah. years ago when I was practicing and everything. So, like, I don't mean to discourage whoever took this. Like, keep it up for sure. But there's just a level of refinement that's not here. It kind of feels like this was all taken in one shot. Yeah. Um, rather than, like, compositing every little perfect aspect to it. The front of the bottle, I, I understand that you got a correct exposure on the logo itself. But the whole the whole thing needs some sort of highlight going through it or something mm. because these little water droplets they just look like dirt they they don't look like you said yeah, like the right. pristine water droplets and then the, the exploding water drips. I also don't kind of like bad. with the exploding drips like there's a lot of motion blur in those but like everything else has this really crisp sharp thing I, I wish those droplets were like exploding with lots of little droplets and they were all crisp and sharp or yeah something. i agree with that too yeah and it's weird that the one on the right has motion blur and the one on the left doesn't really have motion yeah blur. Or so it's, it's like less yeah maybe so maybe it was like those two things were composited in i don't know but uh the community gives it 2.65 so kind of agree with both of us all right three two one i'm gonna Again, <laughs> you knew Give, giving you knew. it a two because it can't just be like a snapshot. Like the timing is perfect. There was obviously I feel like th th there's care taken in, but like this is like of quality of what you should put on your website. Absolutely not. Like, so most, one one is a snapshot. Two stars needs work before it hits your portfolio. Yeah. The reason why I give this a snapshot is just because I feel like. One, I don't know if this is a trick or like what's happening here. It kind of maybe the maybe Seems this like is in a real game. game. Yeah. Maybe it is. And he like caught a moment. 
Okay, well, th then I should be a little bit more lenient, but, like, you know, the, the kid's, like, kind of blurry, and it's, like, nothing's oh, yeah. really happening. I think like they were, they got the shot while they were zooming in. Like, you is that what's get going the on? edges. Mm. See. Yeah, I don't know. It just, it just yeah. like, this certainly should not be in a professional uh, website by any means, but, you know, if this is your son at the game, then, yeah. like, that's a cool shot. Good memory for yeah. your family, but... Community gives it 1.31. Right, you were close. <laughs> Mm. A little torn. <laughs> I'm going to go harsh. Three, two, one, two. So now you have to justify how you give this and the last shot the same okay. score. Yes, you're absolutely <laughs> right. Completely different. Okay, so, so the last shot was obviously like a mom or a dad taking a picture at a, their kid's sports game. Yeah. Um, this I'm looking at with a mind of like, this is commercial, and I said I was being harsh. So like <laughs> this belongs, I think, pretty close to a three, but there's just some things that need refining. First of all, the I, I don't love the red lighting on her back arm. It's yeah. a little distracting. Yeah. Um, so I see what they're trying to do here. Yeah. And there's a lot of really cool sports pictures like this that are all over f-stoppers and all over the internet that I absolutely love. Yeah. And I feel like this photographer has seen those and is trying to do that cool, hard, but different dual, color shift. Dual color lighting. Yeah. yeah, and they're trying to figure it out, but they just didn't really figure it out. And what they should have done, in my opinion, is used the different color lights as like a kicker light rather than as like a, almost yeah, like a it's key direct. light. It's It's like coming in so close to the camera that it's just kind of making her her back arm and back leg like this purpley pink color and the fall off is really harsh yeah and then when you see like the weird shadows hitting the the background and stuff it's just not as good as it could be and i mean if you if you just took this shot you you got the girl with correct white balance yeah and cut her out and then made the background with this gradient. I yeah. love the colors that are they're working with here, with the blue to the purple. It's nice looking. Yeah. And then if you want to mess with the colors on her a little bit and, and post as well, like, you know, I might be going up to four stars I could, really quick. I was quick. just going to say, I could easily see this before <laughs> doing that. Plus, I think there's something to be said about, like, a high-end commercial portfolio, the model choice that, and some of the post-processing choices, I feel like, you do probably need to like clean up her skin a little bit. I I don't love the tattoo cho like a yeah. model with a tattoo that's distracting um, in this type of uh, environment. But uh, yeah, yeah, she's not she's not like the the highest of end athletic models. Uh, but I think there's potential here, especially with some photoshopping and yeah. you know there's like the. The, the twisting on her torso and stuff. It's, it's causing the wrinkles. Yeah, in it's and it's not, you know, it's not that's her fault in any way. It's like, but they would clean that up in a real Nike ad. Yeah, exactly. All right, the community gives us 2.65. All right. What the heck is going on here? What is this? I think it's uh, spray that's uh, it's long turned exposure. into a tornado. That's about to. That's it's, very strange. That's interesting. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Okay. Do we agree? I think it's just it's a little crunchy for a landscape image. The I, it's a cool water effect, like very interesting. But I think that's all that's cool about the image. Like the rest of it's kind of not really that elegant, not well lit. Um, just kind of weird city side to the side. Yeah. Um, so to me, this could be like an interesting picture to talk about the weather or to talk about water movement patterns or something. But in terms of like a fine art print or something that you'd put on your website to yeah. advertise yourself, it just doesn't really feel like a professional landscape shot yeah, to me. Definitely. Community gives it right around three stars, so right. they liked it better than us. Hmm. Our... You ready? <laughs> Man, I'm kind of in between here, too. I'm going to go right. a little nicer. All right, I'll go hard. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, I'm in between a two and a three on this. I, 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 I love the concept 
um, of the you know back motion blur. I think those kind of shots work a little better when it the motion blur is stretched further behind. Like in a way, her legs kind of look like that recent GQ. Uh, <laughs> Photoshop ad, like it looks more like she has multiple legs than her legs are moving to me. He's talking about the GQ cover. It's like the new comedy edition. They they're are they picking on Vogue or who? Yeah, they picking I think on? they're they're picking on Photoshop fails. Uh, but anyway, like I I think the the that back ambient light blur that they got before the strobe hit, uh, just if, if you could stretch that out behind her a little bit more, I mm -hmm. think it'd be a little more interesting. I don't know. What are your thoughts? So, I agree. I'm not a big fan of the the actual blurry parts. It doesn't really look human. It kind of looks like smoke or something that mm -hmm. was made to be yellow, which is a little strange. But then, looking at the model herself, there's just a couple weird things. Like, that, that first leg that's coming out, she's, she's looking a little lazy to be, like, in the dancing, get up like that, like... I could do this dance move, you know what I mean? So I want to see, I want to see that front I leg. I would like to see that. I, yeah. <laughs> I could do it right now. Um, her front leg should be like up or out more or something. It kind of feels like she's about to start the jump or she's about to end the jump. And then when yeah. you look at her face, it's like she is, out she's like lunch. a zombie or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, this is probably going way too far. I recently saw this thing on YouTube about these new like sex dolls that are being made. <laughs> And that's what they look like. It's like just dead in the face and like these plastic <laughs> eyes. So I don't oh, know like goodness. what's going on with her face. Maybe it's like her 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 eyes are like looking up into her skull and it's it's like, it's, it's almost it's like <clears throat> it just needs a refinement. Like I think the pose would work. It, it almost has this air of elegance like to it. It's just not quite. Oh, there. I know. It's so close. It's so close. And that's why I gave it a three because it's not it's not horrible by any means. Like. There's many things that I really like about it. I feel, I feel like the lighting's great. It's yeah. like, just get that the facial expression a little better, get the dance move a little better, and then, like, even the, the weird smoke stuff, it's okay. Yeah. Um, 3.2 stars. So All right. Oh, we're just still nicer. Can yep. This reminds me of some shots I took once. <laughs> with us? Who'd Not you? with you, no. Oh. Korea. Korea uh, Slopes was okay. the first time with... DSLR camera on a ski slope. Did your shots turn out this good? No. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, three, two, one. Oh, I went really hard. Okay, I thought you were going to give it a three. We probably shouldn't. I, we, yeah, yeah. We're, 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 we're tipping we're each other off here. Yeah. Maybe I should go to a three on this one. Like, this is a good. Like I'm thinking lifestyle magazine. Yeah. Action. I the I don't love. I'm nitpicking here. Um, the shadows seem a little crunchy black. The the post processing is a little harsh, isn't yeah. it? But I I could also say like I've seen this uh, in big ad campaigns. Like this look is becoming more yeah. popular. He's just a little. I, I to to give it that next level. I want him to be a little sharper. Like. If you could, again, this is very difficult to do, I'm sure, but his helmet and top of his face seem a little blurry, which he's going top super fast. Top of his face? What are you I'm talking sorry, about? I'm sorry, his head, okay. the helmet. Um, like, I love how sharp his arms are and the, this back uh, ski pole dragging and making the ski, the snow pop up, but, like, I don't know, it just seems a little... If, if you could get him a little sharper and the rest of the background just as blurry. But, again, nitpicking. Why did you go all the way to a four? I was in between a three and a four on this. Okay. I thought you were going to give it a three. So I, I was planning on giving it a three. Um, I just feel like there's so much mood and emotion going on here. You know, it just feels so fast and it feels like I'm right behind him. And I can just see this being used for so many different types of advertising, even, have, even if it has nothing to do with Skiing, you know, it could yeah. just have to do with like living your dream or going fast or whatever it might be. But there's just a few things. It it doesn't feel that high res. I, I don't know if this, you know, this could be taken with a GoPro for all I know. I don't yeah. know. Um, and, and and so you know, some of some of the little specs on the lens and everything, like 
in a way it's kind of cool, but then another way it kind of cheapens it a little bit. I love the spray off of the... Uh, yeah, that back ski pole. Ski pole, yes, thank you. Ski stick. <laughs> um, but it's, it's to me, it's it's like a... It's like a high three to me. Okay. Um, I I'd pr I probably should have vote, voted three on that. And the but community gives it three point five seven, know, which is they really uh, liked it. You know, I'm 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 around that. Three, two, one, two stars. We agree. I'm in between a two and a three on this one. Um, first thing that bugs me is. Um, her running position just seems like fake to me. Like she's too upright. Mm. If you're gonna be, if you're, if you're so fast that you need a parachute to hold should you back, be like bending. Oh, forward, you should so. be. Yeah, just breaking through that, you know, wind going forward, and it just kind of feels like the pose is wrecking the shot for me. Yeah, I. Uh, this this feels to me like kind of more of like a senior. It's not. A senior portrait shoot but like that vibe you get from like I don't know often senior portrait photographers are trying to do something cool and they mess with the lighting and like the lighting just feels a little I, I, I'm, I think I'm it's too talking in a way that's like ragging on senior portrait <laughs> I shouldn't be doing that because we just met like one of the most amazing <laughs> photographers in the more world that's senior portrait photographer but yeah, it's just a little too uh, unrefined image I agree I think the I think the light is too close to the camera, and you're lighting up the model too much. I think the the light needs to be pushed for further in front of her, so that you can actually see the fall off from like the front of her face to the back of her face going black, or you know not necessarily black but dark. Yeah. Because I love I love the exposure here. I love that they have toned down the ambient light and really lit her up with the with the flash and. Probably what they're doing, and this makes sense, is if they moved the light in front of her, then it wouldn't be hitting the... Yeah, I think they're working just with a one light setup. This yeah. image would be improved a lot if you had more than one light. Yeah, so one light on her, one on the parachute, and then you could really define yeah. what you wanted, and I think that would have made a huge difference. And then just get her to like really take off from a yeah. crouch standpoint, that would be cool. Community gives it 2.61. Alright. That's some uh, really strange looking water, isn't it? Like the the lines of the water are, are so defined. I would think with a long exposure you wouldn't see all of these individual You see what uh, I mean? Yeah, it's like if you I, zoom I in, you it's like you can I can, see I feel like let's talk about it after we rate it. Okay, three, two, one, three. Three stars. We agree. Um, I almost pushed this to. I, I would prefer three point five. I almost pushed this to a four just to try to balance out the ratings. I feel like this shot always has to have the fish. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That that's the problem. Like you know, depending on where you are in the world and how accustomed you are to bears, yeah, this might be incredible. Like yeah. whoa, look at that animal. It's so wild. But then when you realize that. You can go to Alaska and go to the same stream and there's going to be a hundred photographers all sitting there shooting them, mm. getting the salmon out. It's like, you got you to gotta yeah. get the salmon. I feel like as far as your comment on the water, I think they probably, maybe this is how it was shot and it's just a interesting way the water's falling. I think they probably just dodge and burned some of the lines to bring them but out. But they're so... It's like... It's like the way the water is coming off these rocks is in these perfect little mm. lines yeah, that's maybe maybe, right. maybe I'm not used to shooting this type of waterfall with a long exposure. I don't even know. Either way, they, it looks cool. Like yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I love like I love how sharp the, the the bear is perfect. Yeah, yeah. Well lit. Um I think it's a little more over 3, but well the community agrees at 3.45. Perfect. Interesting. All right. Three, two, one. If I if I gave the the kid uh, <laughs> two, I definitely can't go over that. See, uh, I, I I have to give this higher than the the kid yeah, with I, the yeah, ball I, because I feel like this is a good yeah. composition. The lighting's better. Like what's happening in the picture 
makes more sense with them with the kid with the ball. Like the, the kid with the ball was like the ball was going under him. He was missing the, the ball. You know, it's like the, this dog is doing what it's supposed to. If you were a dog competitor photographer, yeah. I would give this more than a two. Really? Yes, because I would feel like this is like as good as it gets. Like you're yeah. shooting, you're shooting dogs running through stuff with like ugly stuff in the background all day, every day. That's yeah, like I have complaints about the. I, I think this should this shot could be a lot better. If you're a professional dog event photographer, like the the depth of field needs to be a lot shallower. I I feel like the shot would benefit if you moved. Maybe and who knows where you can move, but like if you move to the left and line those posts up a little closer, maybe, like maybe so. They, I feel like there's a lot of nitpicky things that, that the best photo of this exact moment could be a little bit better, but it's still. I mean, it's interesting. It's. I just imagine well like if somebody was doing this professionally. I don't imagine them, uh, you know, getting the photos getting published in the finest Probably. publications. They're they're like selling the images to the dog owners and trainers, and yeah. they're like, "Oh, that's Rex, and like he's Isn't doing that, so what's, good." What's the dog thing that shows on TV every like Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever? The like, the one that's like that's like what, one of the most nationally viewed Is it the competitions dog, where you, it's just the dog breeds. Yeah, they but just they stand also there do li- don't they, they like, also do like little stuff. things? <laughs> <laughs> I never got that part of it. I, I bet that's a big money maker. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's 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 an all right shot. We we both agree at two stars, and the community gives it two point nine two two point two nine. Whoa. Mm, I'm so torn on this one. <sighs> I'm really torn. <laughs> three, two, <sighs> one. You gave it three. I gave it four. Um, Were you in between a two and a three, or a three and a four? I I was, I honestly going a little closer to a two. Um, I love the the action and the the moment. The lighting is just. I hate that it's the off camera flashes fills him so flatly. Normally that, I would. And then but, sorry. No, no, I don't. I don't mean that. to uh, step on you either, but. I feel like it's not that flat here. We still have that beautiful kicker light of the sun hitting him. So the strobe light is just allowing him to not be a silhouette here. Sure. The the pose, the reaction, like everything's awesome. Maybe I can make the argument that like the stairs are kind of ugly and whatever, but like man, if you had to if you had to shoot this guy for a magazine or whatever, it's just such an interesting shot. Yeah, it is. Like I, the, the pose is a little weird, just how like, <laughs> my, my vision yeah. goes straight to, like, right above the skateboard. <laughs> but, so, like, that's another, like, weird, it's it's an amazing trick, and, like, I can't believe he's, like, almost doing the splits in midair with a skateboard under him. But, uh, I don't know, it's, it's not, like, when I think of high-end sports Red Bull photography, it could... I feel like there's a lot. A lot you can it's take not. It. It's not high end. It's it's that grungy like skate magazine mm. style of shoot that you're right. Like I wouldn't imagine this being a Nike ad or a Gatorade ad, but I would imagine this being in a skate magazine Editorial. where they're trying okay. to make it feel real and grungy and yeah. So yeah, all right, I, I can I can appreciate both, but the community gives it right around three stars. So uh, they agree with you more than me. Lower. Mm-hmm. Ready? Mm, yeah. Three, two, one. I, I was in between this. a two and a three on this. Um, I I like the mood. It has it's it's a little fantastical, which uh, it, it's not. I feel like a realistic landscape image, but right. I like the. Uh, that element of like it, mixing the light from it looks like dawn or even uh, I don't know if that's moonrise or something some harsh light with like that night more nightscape feel I don't know it gives to me it's a nice just mood 
Yeah, to me, it's just like the composition's a little strange with putting this like U-shaped rock right in the middle. Um, I, I really like the the Wave. shape of the water on the bottom. That's really interesting. Um, and it's almost more interesting to me than the rock. Mm. And then the post-processing just feels kind of fakey to me. It, it feels like a, you know, like a painting or something more yeah, than it does definitely. a, a photograph. So that's why... I, I, yeah, I love those leading lines for sure. Yeah. Community gives it 3.14. I was wrong again. I'm wrong... <laughs> Every one of these. Mm, all right. Three, two, one. I went a little harsh. Um, I feel like if you're looking at high-end dance photography, uh, the lighting, the scope of the lighting seems a little broad. The... Uh, splash mixes in tonally and exposure wise with them. I feel like there are a lot of things that you could do to bump it up um, to a little higher end, make highlight more of their bodies. I don't know. This seems like it could have just been <clears throat> straight out of like a show. The, or something. A, yeah, straight out of a show. It's a spotlight. She's kind of hot on the like ex yes, exposure she wise. Is. Oh, um, exposure wise. Yeah. yeah. That too. Um. I I feel like the pose and everything's great. Yeah. Um you know it's very difficult with things like this like what is it for and why would you want this on your website and stuff. Yeah. And if if you just go to some Cirque du Soleil show in Vegas and then you like pull out your point and shoot and take this like it looks good. I feel like the exposure is good. It's a little hot, like you said. Uh, you know, it's a little harsh as well. But, mm -hmm. I mean, they, they captured a good moment that feels like it was posed. Um, but, you know, it's like, why would you want to share yeah. this image? I feel like this is, if you're going for some sort of advertiser or advertising shot for the show or even, like, I don't know if there's a competitive, competitive dance photography market... Uh, I don't know. It, to me, it doesn't scream like high end. The community gives it 2.65. So right in right between in you and me. <laughs> Goodness. <laughs> when I, I'm trying to remember where I was. I think I was in somewhere in Canada. <laughs> and there was signs saying, like, don't feed the seagulls. They will bite you and it had like blood coming out of their <laughs> mouth like in the warning picture and you can see by the look on this kid's face he is like yeah, get me this out looks of like sea world to me like this happened to me when i was like <laughs> something like this they say don't like feed the dolphins at sea world close this was back like 20 years ago they might have outlawed wait how are you even feeding the dolphins at all like you give fish to the dolphins poolside okay and then the seagulls come down and like go crazy and try oh, to so get the don't fish. feed the yeah, seagulls yeah. well you have to like they had to, you have to feed the dolphins carefully. Okay. Anyway, whatever. Let's rate it. <sighs> Three, two, one. So, yeah. Uh, this is, it's just, it's a fun little moment that, I don't know if this is like a family or just like whatnot, but like it's an interesting memory. The kid looks terrified. <laughs> I know. Um, I don't know. It's. This is to me just a, a cool memory. Uh, remember that time when the <laughs> our son almost died. <laughs> I love the lighting and the vibe of this bird. Yeah. It just it. I don't know. It feels like straight out of Al Alfred Hitchcock. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's a creepy looking shot. Um, so there's aspects of it I love, but then you know, like the kid just kind of wincing, kind of pulls me out of the shot, yeah. and it's like, oh. This isn't this isn't some incredible planned shot. This is just kind of like a snapshot type thing. But the lighting, the black and white conversion looks great to me. Yep. Community gives it two point six nine, right. so they That's liked it good. more than us. What is this? <laughs> I think that is a fungus or mushroom exploding spores. I think I've seen these in my backyard, and I've run over them with the. Uh, Lawnmower, and it's just like an explosion of <laughs> dust, and I probably have cancer lung cancer now. now. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man. 
Three, two, one. I'm. I, what? What? I, I was. I, maybe three. I I love this. I like this. I like the moment. Like, what'd you go to if, school for? If you're a, a, a science, <laughs> um, like, it's a to me, it's a really cool moment of nature. That I don't, I don't know if you could capture it much better, um, and maybe that doesn't mean it deserves a four. It definitely, I bet you he took a picture, and he went down and he squeezed it, and he took another picture and then composited it together. You think? I'm guessing. Maybe so. That or, I mean, I guess potentially you could like set up one of those trigger things that like senses movement or not. I don't know. This this isn't a four. This is a three. <laughs> but this is I I like it. It's interesting to me. I feel like this is maybe this is my weird science background. But I might put that on my wall. Like that is weird. <laughs> that is weird. This, that you it's put cool. On your wall. It's a cool moment. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a biology fan. Um, so I feel like this should be in a biology textbook and it's a well done, it's a well done photograph. And if this is what your portfolio is all about, then I would give it a three and be like, great job. Like it should be on your website. But for the average landscape photographer or whoever else, like, I don't really feel like it should be on your website, but you know, it's a cool shot. I love how they lit it. Um, yeah, it's okay. (laughs) <laughs> Community right, gives it 2.55 stars. All right, definitely closer to you. <laughs> <laughs> this kind of looks like Charleston. No, maybe not over here. Um, Sometimes I struggle ready? with our rating system. <laughs> Three, two, one. I'm going to go, I'm, I'm doing the opposite of what I said with the kid. Yeah. This is about, to me, the level of, almost about the level of the quality of the kid shot to me. Um, the long exposure, it's, it's, it's an interesting mood um, to capture all the people going. He's a little blurry, mm-hmm. too. Um, the lighting's super harsh. Uh, seems like it was just kind of a street shot that someone thought was cool and, eh. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the shot. The weird crop where you're like cropping him at his shins feels yeah. very strange to me. So much of it's overexposed, um, but at the same time, the blacks are crushed in a lot of areas. It's just, it's a snapshot, but like, it, the it, motion there blur was some made into me it, yeah. push it a little towards it too. The community gives it 1.88. Ooh. Mm, that's interesting. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Three stars, we agree. It's a, I think, solid, cool, uh, creative shot for, I don't know if, it seems like it would advertise something to do with sound or, uh, I, I see this kind of stuff with like drumming and speakers and stuff a lot. Yeah. I feel like the lighting is a little too flat. Mm. I would I like to really see can. a larger light source and just maybe one light source or one kind of from 45 and then one from the back to create a, a little rim a rim light but it's kind of feels like it's lit from both sides and it feels a little flat to me but the uh you know the paint's very pretty and uh yeah good mixing of colors i yeah. like that uh community gives it 3.37 stars and this is the final uh, number Image, twenty here, and winner. this is the winner. So David will be messaging you. Just let him know which tutorial you would like. Can't see this close up. It doesn't look real. It looks like a stuffed uh, cheetah that they've thrown out of a car window. Wait, you think the animal looks fake? Or I, yeah, shot? something about it looks fake. Oh. Like the way it's like its legs don't look like they're uh, like. Flexing, it it looks like a stuffed cat was oh, thrown. Like a taxidermied cat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I okay. I I. You think this is real? I think the cheetahs. It's something mm. about this is not real. Something fishy is going on with this shot. Maybe let's rate it. <laughs> it looks like its legs are held in place with pipe cleaner. Or something. Let's rate it. <laughs> Three, two, one. Two stars. Definitely two. But I wouldn't say it's a two. 
maybe it looks. I, I, I don't know that I'd comment on it. It's like it's a claymation or something. You think they like. I don't know what's happening. And what. what's up with the tail? Like, how is the tail fluffier than the rest of the body? I, mean, that, and stuff? I feel like the way the cheetah is doesn't look too unnatural to me. Like, I've done safaris and whatnot. Like, it kind of seems like a, a wild cheetah. Like, kind of scruffy fur. And what. The, the pose is a little weird and it. I definitely could see how you would think that it's like a taxidermy thing. It like the pose is just. <laughs> but like, I'm look gonna look the, up. I'm gonna look up pictures of cheetahs running real quick. Cheetahs <laughs> running. Those are all super. Short. Okay, so here's here's one where the background's blurry. That one also looks kind of weird and fake, doesn't it? Yeah. What is going on with these cheetah pictures? Maybe I don't know what a real cheetah looks like. But when I you look at some of these shots... Watch that video of the cheetahs stalking the family recently. Did you see that? Yes, that was insane. Um, see, there's one. So all like, of look, these look, shots that I'm looking at on that Google... That is definitely a real shot. Yeah, no, no, that looks real. His, his and, and his tail tail's fluffy. fluffy. His tail's fluffy, but his... Feet are like flexed and ready to go. Yeah, this this other shot is like, I guess the front foot, like the claws are kind of out. I don't know, but like this is a low res shot, so I'm trying yeah. to I'm trying to look at the motion blur that's I think behind it's real. the cat. Like, look at look at the shadow. They did a darn good job on the shadow. If what are you talking about? The that shadows all that. over the place. They're, what do you? Think? They did a darn good job on the I mean, shadow. What are you talking about? If, that shadow is perfectly fits the profile. What of the are cheetah. you talking about? If they remove the cheetah from the scene, you wouldn't even think that's so much darker than the shadow around. <laughs> what are it. you talking about? There's like tree shadows throughout this whole thing. I this doesn't feel at all to me. The, okay, whoever took this, let us know in the comments. You you've you've won a free tutorial, so you, now you have to let us know like what is going on in this picture. Something something is not right. I think right. it's real. I think it's a okay, well, still a two okay. shot. Look at this. Look at this. It's too look blurry. at the blur on the side of the frame here. What's real about that? What is going on there? I mean, they might have done extra. Like of course they did something extra. Like look at how it blurs into his. I know uh, it's like crazy something, looking. I don't think that's like. A necessarily a composite thing. Maybe it is. What if the cheetah, like I'm covering up <laughs> its hind legs now. What if it's laying down and they just <laughs> cut out the cheetah and then <laughs> then photoshopped on some like you're, stuffed you're animal getting cheetah crazy legs? Now. <laughs> it's like the most <laughs> random. Pr yeah. All right. Well, the community gives this 2.81 stars. So. Apparently everybody's falling for this but me. I gotta know. I gotta know what this I original shot looked like. Yeah. I think this. I think this. Che <laughs> I think this cheetah is at a zoo. It is laying on a rock. They have. They did not have access to the hind legs of the cheetah, uh, so they added in a fake cheetah hind legs. All they had was their child's cheetah stuffed animal. Yeah. So they took a picture, <laughs> and they put it on a. <laughs> The front of a cheetah laying on rocks. Yeah. And then they took pictures of their backyard grass. They blurred it. <laughs> it has tree tree shade that's coming down, which you seem to believe the tree is casting the perfect sh cheetah shade. And then this is what they've made. So they and you fell the, for it. Yeah, yeah. I, fell for, I fell for the composited <laughs> stuffed backyard cheetah. <laughs> I, please, I'm definitely wrong. Here. Please, you are please release right. the, the the original image, and I I yeah. want to be wrong. Three images, the original three. <laughs> well, no, no. Animal, the no, no, If I'm shot. wrong, if this is like a real cheetah stalking prey and it's jumping through the air, <laughs> no, it's not stalking prey. It's probably like one of those. It's, this is probably like a San Diego Zoo type setting, and they're doing the racetrack run show. You think that's what's going on? So Pro you I mean, I, I think pro like yeah, probably that's what's going on. I don't think this is a wild cheetah in the wild shot. I think it's some sort of like con controlled environment where they're just like doing a show for the audience. <laughs> All right. Well, let us see the original shot without the fake motion blur. At least I, I, I got to see what it's like. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, that was a 
strange final <laughs> image at the very least. Um, like I said, if you want to be a part of our next critique, it's live right now. You can go to the description and we'll have a link or in the post and upload your best senior portrait photos. And we will see you next time. Yeah.